joining us now is Sandy Eichner, who is a realtor with Remax and also um, involved with Lake Norman Wine Enthusiasts, which is the area's largest meetup group. So we're going to talk a little bit about that club and about meetups in general and, and uh, how they work. Thank you for coming on the show, Sandy. Thanks for having me. Now, meetup, the wine one, actually, wine enthusiasts, started about two years ago. Yes. And started off very small, and now it's actually the largest meetup group in the Lake Norman area, as we've talked about. And it's become a real viable ent entity and impacts the businesses in the area, and everyone wants to host the Lake Norman enthusiasts. So tell us a little bit about how you got started and how it's progressed and, and where you are now. And Okay, um, basically uh, 2007, uh, sometime in September, I had been looking for a hobby. I'm really into wine, tennis, running, and such, and I was looking online for you know a wine club or a wine enthusiast group where we could I could join and we could go out and enjoy wine together and, and have fun. It would be a way to, for me to network, and I couldn't find one. <laughs> so I went on to meetup.com, which is an RSVP and commenting site, mm -hmm. and I purchased a domain and I, I bought a six months reservation just to see how it would work mm -hmm. out. And I really didn't have any plan for how I was going to run it or, or anything. And I started my own Lake Norman Wine Enthusiast Club, thinking, okay, so hopefully some people will join. Yeah, you won't be going by yourself. <laughs> yeah, and, and I asked, um, Joe Klossick is the manager of the Corks Crew, and I had been frequenting there a lot, mm -hmm. and had networked with a lot of great people in the Lake Norman area through the wine uh, bar mm -hmm. in Burkdale Village. And uh, basically, I asked him, you know, hey, can I have my little wine club at your venue? And, mm -hmm. you know, how would it work, and how could they pay? And I just want to have like an informal wine meeting. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, sure, you know, no problem. And you can sit over here and <laughs> this is how it will go. And um, I didn't have any rules or anything, a, a, a defined way of how we were going to meet. Um, so I went ahead and I think our first meetup was 19 people. Mm -hmm. And we met each other and had a great time. And I asked the members, you know, how do you want this to go? Like, how should I run this? Do you want sit down dinners? Do you want to just hang? or you know, mm -hmm. taste wines, do you want cheaper tastings, do you want expensive tastings, you know, it's up to you, I, I mm -hmm. want this to be a group for everyone. And people gave me their comments and I've just basically run the group based on what people want, what the members want. And how many people are involved now? Over 700 members um, and it's been fantastic, I mean we've had over 80 I think 85 meetups so far. Wow. Now, some of the meetups actually have been sold out, right? You, yeah. you actually have to put a cap on it now. On some of them, yeah. And there's a meetup in Davidson at Companion Cafe, mm -hmm. and she actually has a seating limitation. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's a sit down tasting, and it's extremely popular. So it usually sells out within a week to two weeks of posting it. Companion has great ones. I love the ones. Yeah, there. they do. Right in their wonderful place. Um, so now, you received national attention. Yeah. Which is interesting because here we are, this little wine club that you started in Lake Norman, now 750 something like that mm -hmm. members, is now getting attention over uh, as far as California. Yeah, we so. we've been um, recognized by some wine distributors. We've been written in wine blogs. Uh, Charlotte Woman magazine um, recognized it. Uh, Creative Loafing recognized it right when it was in its infancy. Mm -hmm. You know, we've probably been written up in several magazines. I remember interviewing for them, but I really don't realize when they come out until people start sending me Facebook messages and, and Twitter messages saying, oh, look, very <laughs> article. And I, I have to say, which one? <laughs> you know, a lot of people have emailed me asking for information about mm -hmm. our group. Now, do you have companies now asking, can you do one with me? Can you do it here? Can you do it there? Yes. Uh, when we first started, um, I don't think the venues really took me seriously. Mm -hmm. And But when we started having meetups with 70 to 100 people show up, right there. paying 10 to $15 for a mm -hmm. wine tasting, the meetup venues, you know, such the Lake Norman wine bars and such, have really um, taken notice. And I've got some places that are emailing me and asking me to do wine meetups that aren't even wine bars. Oh, um, really? <laughs> like restaurants. Um, mm -hmm. Acropolis Cafe has asked me, and Sky Bar in Lake Norman has asked me, a couple of different places. But I'm trying to keep it focused, um, our meetups, at wine, wine bars and yeah. not restaurants or cafes. I, I think it, um, there's a certain ambiance to a wine bar and having a wine tasting at a place that orders wine right. specifically for their place. And, you know, I just want to keep it. We've had... Um, 
wine meetups at Havana uh, right. Ballroom. Yeah, We've yeah. had dancing wine meetups. EXO um, has done meetups where they've made ice cream with liquid nitrogen. We've had we, that on we, the show. Yeah, we filmed that on the show. It's and, so cool. You know, we've had a, a Lake Norman boat wine enthusiast meetup where we all went swimming in Lake Norman and drank wine on a boat. Mm -hmm. Wow. Five boats, actually. But. Well, there's hundreds and hundreds of meetup groups in this area now. And, mm -hmm. and again, you're the largest one. But it's really important if you have a certain industry to get involved in the meetups. And mm -hmm. when we were doing our hair and makeup this morning. The makeup artist was telling us that she's involved in a wedding meetup. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's actually another form of social media, but it's a great networking opportunity. As you said, that was one of the reasons you started doing meetup was to network. So mm -hmm. it's something people should be watching and and you can just go to I think it's a meetup.com yep and our wine site is lknwinegroup.com um, lknwinegroup.com lknwinegroup.com and I, I spend a lot of time um, you know doing a little search engine optimization putting our meetups on Craigslist okay. you know everything I can do to promote my specific meetup because I want members to sign up. It's free. The only thing they have to pay for is um, the wine bar or wine venue when they set the price for the actual tasting. So they're just paying directly to to the venue. The venue. I, right now I've been doing this for two years for free. The website, okay. the search and optimization. You know my time I do buy name tags for the members so we can um, remember each other's names mm -hmm. because after you, you have 50 people every you know three times a month um, it gets a little bit uh, yeah, trying, taxing, to remember trying to remember everyone's name. <laughs> so what type of people go, is it singles mostly or is it people looking for networking or is it truly wine enthusiasts it's or all, everybody? It's all ages, okay. over 21. Oh yeah, okay. Um, yeah. It's, specific here. it's all age groups, um, couples, singles. Sometimes some of the meetups have more singles and then sometimes there's a lot of couples that show up. Some are just there purely for the business networking. Mm -hmm. Um, we've had some love connections made through the group. <laughs> we've had some really um, great people become friends, really good friends, mm -hmm. and meet outside of the group. Uh, plus, for the venues, is, I've had comments saying, I've never heard this place before, I've never been here, and now they're regular customers to those never venues venues. because they were introduced by the group. So mm -hmm. the venues are seeing an after effect from me bringing the wine club there. So they're they're being really gracious and love having us and supplying us with free cheese and crackers and it's That's been great. a lot of fun. It's a, it's a great club. Mm -hmm. really. I actually went to too early on <laughs> before yeah. we got so busy. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well thank you so much for coming on the show, Sandy. Thanks for having Very me. I appreciate it. it.